Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to present the third sequence of the first year English program, Me and My Daily Activities. Before I start, I would like to give you a general idea on how to design a sequence map. I'm going to post a video on that uh, soon. Before you design a sequence map, you have to scan the sequence. You have to check it from the first page to the last page. And then you're going to take into consideration the initial situation, the topics of the sequence, the grammar lessons, pronunciation lessons, reading and writing. First, you're going to design your initial situation. In order to write a good initial situation, you're going to check the topic of the lesson of I think and write or I learn to integrate. Why? Because your initial situation is going to be solved the problem of the initial situation is going to be solved by the end in either the lesson of I learn to integrate or the lesson of I think and write. Second, you have to check the topics of the sequence. I know you have daily activity as a general title, but we do have some topics inside. So the topics of the sequence are going to help you to design your listenings. Why? We have to design listenings in order to uh, be able to present our grammar lessons uh, in a good context. And of course, in order to be able to integrate our pronunciation lessons. Then, your grammar lessons uh, should be in relation or should be related to your listening. So, you don't present all the listenings at once and then you present grammar separately and then you present pronunciation separately. No, you're going to uh, present a lesson of listening and then you're going to check which grammar lesson works with this uh, listening script. It means what do I have as target items in my listening to serve me for my grammar. And then I'm going to present a listening just after listening grammar, then listening after listening grammar. And of course, we don't have to forget that pronunciation should not be presented separately, but it should be included in a listening lesson or a grammar lesson or even a reading lesson. And then reading, you are going to check the text of the book. If you like it, it's great. If you don't like it, you are going to change the text. You're going to look for a similar text, but it should be like, um, like more interesting and you have to design your activities. Don't rely on the activities of the book because you know a reading lesson involves uh, skimming, scanning. So you have to um, like uh, apply these uh, steps in a reading lesson. And then we move to writing. You have two writings. You have I learned to integrate, which is going to be in a group work and your pupils are going to like prepare themselves to write individually and then you have I think and write which is going to be done individually so your pupils are going to write about a given topic. This is concerning the sequence map. Now I move to uh, the title of the sequence me and my daily activities. First I start with the initial situation so I have checked the topic of I think and write and I learned to integrate and then I have like um, made a comparison and then I prepared my initial situation uh, based on what I have uh, checked. So your friend wants to know about your parents' routine and their leisure activities, write a letter to tell him or her about your mom's or your dad's daily and leisure activities. Uh, here I added leisure activities because in the lesson of I think and write your friend uh, wants to know about your mom's um, daily routine so here I uh, have introduced dad why not talking about our dad's daily routine since he works okay most of, of fathers work so they go outside so are you going to have like more interesting routine than our mom's routine who are like housewives so uh, and then I have introduced le leisure activities. Uh, why not talking about their weekend activities? Uh, not not necessarily fun activities because they're like like not like as like young and we like just have to go to our grandparents and like uh, hang out with friends and so on. But they like have some activities they do on weekends. So why why not talking about these activities? 
Then in the listening, you have, we are going to have a listening about the daily activities. We are going to have a listening about the time. We are going to have a listening about leisure activities. So three listenings are enough. After listening, we move to pronunciation. Here, I'm just showing you uh, what do you have in each skill. Listening is a skill. We have three listenings. Now, pronunciation is a sub-skill, and it should be integrated in a listening lesson or in a grammar lesson, or why not in a reading lesson. What do we have as pronunciation lessons? We have the pronunciation of s, z, and is, and the pronunciation of the schwa, e. And we have h, which is supposed to be taught, but it is, uh, it has been removed. Now we move to grammar. What do you have in grammar? You have asking about time, telling the time, describing daily activities using the present simple tense, ask questions about daily activities with what, what time and when, and prepositions in at and on. Here, uh, I just presented the grammar lessons at once in order to show you what do you have in this skill. But after, I'm going to organize um, these lessons according to my scripts and according to my pronunciation in the sequence map. Then, we have I practice. I practice is not a lesson and it, like, it doesn't like follow any framework. So, uh, in I practice, I'm going to provide my pupils with some uh, activities on accuracy, so activities uh, on the lessons they have dealt with. And here, I'm going to introduce um, a new topic, um, which is pets, talking about pets. I didn't want to like uh, make it like as a listening lesson. I wanted to um, do it in practice so that pupils will have fun. Not just dealing with activities, but also talking about pets, because, you know, pupils like uh, uh, pets. So, here I'm going to present either a dialogue or I'm going to present pictures, flashcards, uh, to asking my pupils about their favorite pets, and so on. After that, I'm going to move to reading. Here, you have to choose a text about daily activities. You either choose the text of the book and you design your activities, or you bring another text. After reading, we have I learn to integrate. In I learn to integrate, your pupils are going to write, of course, but in group work. In I think and write, your pupils are going to write individually. Now, I'm going to organize all these lessons in the sequence map. First, you have the initial situation, which is a presentation of the sequence. You are going to present to your pupils the sequence. You are going to tell them about the topic of the sequence. You are going to check their, uh, their background. Maybe they got some knowledge about this topic. And you are going to give a general idea about, as I said, about the sequence. It should not take 45 minutes. Really, it should take less than 45 minutes, maybe 20 minutes are enough. And then you move to the first lesson directly. Uh, here we have I listen and do, which is the first lesson. In the second column, you have the framework. And in the third column, you have the objective of my lessons. So in the lesson of uh, listening, uh, I'm going to present the daily activities. I'm going to, to like present a script about daily activities. Of course, relying on flashcards. Then I'm going to present a grammar lesson following the PPU framework. The objective is to describe daily activities using the present simple. I'm going to talk about daily activities in my listening. So I have to uh, present a grammar lesson which has uh, a relationship with daily activities. So here I'm going to talk about verbs, um, uh, verbs that we use when you talk about daily activities in the present simple tense. Then I move to I pronounce. I'm going to integrate this lesson in the grammar lesson. Here, why? Because you know, in daily activities, you're going to use, um, you're in the grammar, you're going to use um, the pronoun I and he and she. And if we use he and she, so we have pronunciation of se, z, and is. 
that's why I have introduced this lesson just after uh, this grammar lesson. Then I move to another listening. Here I'm going to uh, make my pupils listen to a dialogue or uh, involving time. Then just after that I'm going to present the time following the PPU framework. Then I move to grammar again and I am going to uh, show uh, my pupils how to ask about time using what time. Then I'm going to move to another grammar lesson. All these lessons are related to my script. And a lesson on how to ask questions about daily activities, what, when and of course what time. Then I move to another listening. I'm going to talk about leisure activities, only leisure activities. Then I have integrated a pronunciation lesson, uh, which is uh, schwa. And then I move to grammar. This lesson is going to be related to uh, the lesson of leisure activities. Here I'm going to present the prepositions at, on and in. And you know, this lesson is related to all the script were presented previously. Then I move to practice. In practice, there is no framework. Here you choose. You're free to present activities on accuracy uh, or uh, talking about uh, like pets. It's You're free. You can devote two sessions for this uh, part. I practice, you make your pupils know about uh, some pets and then you move to activities. Then I move to I read and do. Uh, so here I'm going to present a text about daily activities as I said uh, you either choose the text on page 85 or you bring another text then I move to I learn to integrate your pupils are going to write about a friend's leisure activities so why talking about a friend's leisure activities because they are going to insist on uh, verbs in the present simple with he and she so they have to use s and es and then I move to I think and write. Here they're going to use uh, also uh, verbs present simple with the third personal pronoun he and she. But it's going to be individual and the instruction changes. Here they're going to write a letter. The format also changes. A letter about mom's daily activities or dad's daily activities. Here this lesson, is, if you have noticed, is related to the initial situation. In this phase, I'm going to solve the problem of the initial situation. Thank you, my dear followers, for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.